All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd. I'm sorry. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, and uh, speeding things up here. I don't know why I just skipped the whole month of June, but uh, we've got a bunch of white tastings going on this week with white wine at Cafe Max tonight. There may still be a few seats left for that, man. It's hard to sell a white wine tasting only here for some reason, even though it's really hot in South Florida. The red wines just seem to go over better. We got our vintage white here this Friday night, which we always do a vintage white wine. Hey, is it worth it to collect white wines? Come and find out on Friday night, everything 10 years or older here at the Wine Watch. And hey, we know it's worth it to collect Brunello Montalcino. We do a number of vintage Brunello tastings throughout the course of the year. And Giacci Piccolomini is one of our favorite producers. Uh, we've had the, the, the owners of the property here at the store to do events in the past. And I still remember in 2004 uh, when the father, uh, Giuseppe, sadly passed away too early. But Paolo and Lucia already were involved. So they took over this very famous property that, uh, well, it was sold by the Countess Giratani in 1877 to Francesco Chiacci. And, well, uh, these guys have got some... Uh, Pope Pius II in their direct line lineage in their uh, past, so a very important family in this part of Montalcino, and uh, a beautiful estate located in the Castellanovo, the Obate section of uh, Montalcino, so that's the southeast, and this 2010 vintage, in case you haven't heard, is a killer vintage from Montalcino. Every major wine critic in earth, on earth is waxing poetic about it, so a very strong demand for these wines, but I'll tell you, this wine is great every year. I'll never forget them. When the release of the 2004s came out, another great vintage, we did a tasting to highlight these wines, and somebody brought... Man, people always bring wine to our wine tastings. I don't know what it is. You can just feel the love. A bottle of 2001 Chiachi Piccolo Mini Reserva, unanimously the wine of the night. And the Reserva, well, we're going to have to wait another year for that to come out. They're released six years after the vintage, but we do have some Reserva on this offer in addition to the 2010 Pien Rosso and Chiachi Piccolo Mini Normale. We've got a little 2007 Reserva and Magnums. Hey, you know when I like a wine, we buy it in all different sizes. We also have little baby bottles of 2010. And even though 2010 is a new release, this is the wine that has a lot of forward charm and the wines are going to be better in 10 to 15 years, but surprisingly good to drink right now. And the style of Chiachi Piccolomini, always in their normale, very drinkable when young. Some lovely red cherry fruit, uh, beautiful floral notes, and that classic tar, that spice you get from Montalcino. Just a beautiful wine, smoke, uh, just really exotic stuff. So check it out. Everything we've got. Uh, from Chiachi Piccolomini, and I'm including everything we've got in the store from the 2010 vintage from Mount Silcino. A killer year, so check it out. If there's one of them that you want that you don't see on here, let us know. We still may be able to get a lot of these wines just on their way in. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.